All right, guys, so we're finishing up the front of this shed. Um, when we started on this, I thought it would look cool to have a wood trim around the around the door. So, you know, we were going to do plywood and this and that. So we're still going to have to finish that one that way. But when we got to this door, I was like, you know what? <laughs> we're just going to throw the, uh, the tin up on here and cut a hole. So I cut this hole with the... Uh, with the angle grinder i'm not sure if i like that way of doing it it's kind of hard to maintain a straight line um you know when it's up in the air like this i think i'd have been better off just measuring it out and uh using the circular saw with the steel blade on it uh, it works so nice and you can cut a good straight line and you can see like here on the right hand side i kind of got jaggedy i was trying to freehand it and whatever um i mass freehand the whole thing but I didn't have a good line to follow and stuff. Uh, anyway, it's good enough. I'm going to put J trim over it and you'll never see it behind that. But but it was messy and, you know, stuff flying everywhere. I mean, the the circular saw blade, it, it you still kick up some, some uh, metal shavings and whatnot, but it's not nearly as bad as the, as the grinder. But anyway, that job's done, so I'm going to get uh, concrete down here in front of that door, and we'll put the door in, and get our trim on, and it'll look decent. And I need to get a couple little scraps about 10 inches wide from the right-hand side there. So, something I'll make sure I um, do a better job of next time is planning out where my doors are going to go so that, well, and had I not done this part in the middle then our sheets would have ended, ended right at the end of the wall so I guess that thing has caused more problems <laughs> so it better look good um, and then I need to finish putting the uh, plywood stuff up on the top here then the face of this will finally be done so that'll be good okay guys so this is our power trawl we got this thing off eBay back uh, around November of last year and finally a couple weeks ago um, you know, some five months later, I decided to pull it out of the box and put it together. Uh, luckily, most everything was in the box. The only thing that was missing was the clutch, which, according to Stark, is like a $200 part. Um, <laughs> so that was uh, my bad. Should have pulled it out right away and just verified the stuff was there. I'm still pursuing them to see if I can get the clutch, but, you know, anyway. Um... So what I've decided to do is get a uh, CVT clutch for uh, usually used on like motorbikes and uh, go-karts and stuff like that. So we're going to get rid of this, ah, this clutch or this uh, pulley here and that will actually get replaced with this guy and he's got a little bit of magic in him. So basically it, it starts off one size and then as it speeds up, it... Uh, actually changes its size so your gear ratio between this this pulley here or this clutch whatever and this one changes as the speeds change so I'm gonna go ahead and get these things put on and yeah we'll see what it looks like all right well I was looking at this I was thinking I might need to add a shim in there so I was gonna use that three-quarter inch uh, washer but actually, I think this thing lines up just perfect without it. The belt seems to ride perfectly. It's got about the same spacing all the way down that clutch, the driven clutch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling this thing, and then we'll test this thing out. All right, so we've got it assembled now. I've got Loctite in both those bolts, so... Hopefully that'll keep them from rattling loose when we're using it. Um, and the way this thing works is this top clutch sucks in as the engine revs up, which causes it to pinch, and then it gives some, some power to the belt. Um, and then as the engine goes faster and faster, it pinches tighter and tighter together, which makes the belt ride out and essentially makes it a bigger pulley. The one down on the bottom works the opposite. Basically, as it goes faster, it gets smaller and smaller and makes the output, um, you know, the torque go down, but the speed go up. So 
it basically it's a CVT transmission for a small engine like this and all in I've got got about a hundred and 120 bucks for the two um, pulleys here and the and three belts I got basically the the company I got it from the belts were about the pr same price for three as for two and I figured I should have at least two so next step is to start this thing up and just make sure that it engages um, I'll have to pull it down at some point but I don't have a nice place to run it here okay well it started right up you can see the clutch is slipping like it's supposed to when it's at low, low idle like this um, there is still a tiny bit of drag on here but not much um, so as we I don't know if you can see the print on that belt. I'm just trying to accelerate it slightly. I'm trying to hold it with like a finger here. <laughs> there it goes. It's just engaging now. Oh yeah, there it goes. All right. I'm gonna kick that out before I hurt myself. <laughs> but seems to be working. Alright, well that's successful. Maybe I'll get Lisa over here in a bit and she can hold the camera and I can uh, do a little better test. Alright, so obviously this is meant for you know finishing concrete before it has cured, but I don't have any pads sitting around just waiting for me to test it, so I'm going to throw it onto this here already cured concrete slab and just make sure it has power enough to get going and that it's balanced good and all that fun stuff so let's give it a try is it going yep all right of course it doesn't start first pull second all right so the clutch is working good still Well, it's pizza night. We've got a new oven here. It's a little like toaster oven type thing, but it's got convection settings and everything else. So it's kind of cool. I've been uh, eyeballing this one since before we moved down here, actually. And uh, when I finally decided I was going to buy them, they weren't available anywhere. And all you could find were ones that were like $80 more than this one was. Um, you know, their new model. So I went ahead and looked around. And I found one at Target that had the old model and I ordered it and they ended up sending me the new model anyway so anyway got my pizza in there can't really see it all that well I guess but uh, kinda anyway alright well, we're gonna eat up I'm gonna edit this and get it up and I will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye alright well there it is it's pizza time all right, I had to get a better look at this, so there we go. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.